Hey YouTube, today I'm planning for the week of August 19th to the 25th. This is in my big happy planner and I'm using pages from the Boho Dream. I'm gonna Franken plan this and put it into my daily details planner and we will get set for the week. If you'd like to see what I do, stay tuned. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the well wishes for my surgery and my recovery. I appreciate you guys so much and thanks for caring about me and understanding as I try to heal and though, you know, I'm going to be putting out videos, but it's just going to be less than usual for a little bit and then I'll be back on schedule. So thank you so much. I'm doing great. It's just slow going and everything will be cool. So. This week, I, like I said, I'm planning for the week of August 19th to the 25th, and I'm going to be using stickers from the new Be Happy box, and, oh, sorry about that, these stickers here, and if you would like to see a flip through, I'll link the, that in the description box below of the flip through of um, the unboxing of all that Be Happy box stuff, and this is a collaboration with the Happy Planner and Teresa Collins. This stuff is beautiful and totally, totally me. So... I am gonna go ahead and start. The first thing I thought I would do is pull in some regular black boxes from the Colorful Boxes book. And I'm gonna use these for my to-do lists for the week. Since I have four boxes here, I'm gonna do four to-do lists. I don't need more than that. And since I'm still recovering from surgery, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot, but probably a lot of paperwork and stuff like that this week, phone calls, this and that, like non-active things. So, I definitely still want to use my planner this week and stay on track. So I'm going to put these down and what I thought I would do is take some washi tape. This is Happy Planner brand. I'm not sure where I got this. It was in one of those original little like plastic packs and I'm going to I'm going to like put this down on the corners of each of these like I'm kind of taping down boxes on the page. You'll see what I mean as I go. Now since this washi tape is translucent, I'm going to go ahead and white out the corners of these and we'll see how that looks. I'm not sure I'm gonna like this look, but let's just try it and see where it goes. Okay, already I don't like this look. I think it's the washi tape that I chose. So I'm gonna pull this off and see if I can find washi that I like better with this. I think it's because it's so white that it looks kind of weird to me. So let me pause this video and see if I can find better washi tape than that. I do have like this that matches, but it's so skinny. I kind of wanted a thicker one. So hang on a minute. I'm going to put down these to-do stickers in the box before I, cho before I choose the washi tape because one of these is going to go in each box. Okay, so I just want to try to match that or like coordinate with that. Okay, I decided instead of washi tape, I'm going to try to use these washi strips that are still in the Be Happy Box book, keeping in that same book, and we'll see if I can get these to look good on the edges here. I was going for the ripped look, but I think I'm now going to cut them. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back to these stickers here and put, like I said, these are my to-do lists, so I'm gonna put one of those um, to-do list, to-do stickers in each box.
I like the way this looks. They kind of look like bows in a way, I guess because they're polka dots. I don't know. It's kind of cool though, right? I kind of like it. All right, that was a, that's like the only idea I had. So now I just have to flip through this book and figure out what else I'm going to do. I think I am going to use these florals, but as far as like these ones here, but as far as how to use them, I don't know. Um, let me see what else is in here. Probably some of these big quotes. I would think not the black ones, probably like, what about some of these? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of layering here. Not sure how this is gonna look. I'm gonna take this sticker here, but I'm not going to use it for this quote. I'm gonna use it as background for another sticker. And I'm gonna put this on Monday, right about here. And then I'm gonna layer. I don't know how this is gonna look. I may end up pulling this back up, but um, let's see what we can do. I didn't wanna use this because it has a black frame and there's a lot of black frames here, but maybe there's another one with a black frame. I mean, I can use this to balance it out on the other side. So let's try it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, you guys but we're just gonna put it down and see where it takes me. I know there's a little bit sticking out there. I messed up, but we'll layer that like so. Now we're gonna have to layer something else on the other side of the page and also use this. So let's see. There was a floral one over here, this one. See if I can use this. Oh, this is like a, a flag one. Hmm. Well, I can cut this. See, this is like one of those flags. So I'm just gonna cut the bottom off and make it into a box. Okay. And then I'm gonna layer that with this one so that I have just a little balance for these types of stickers. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put it over, not up here because that one's up there. So I guess I'll put it down here. I'm just gonna layer this one right on top of there and like bring it across to Friday. Okay, I wish this had more peach in it, but we can bring other peach in. Like maybe this one. I kind of like the way it looks when it's across the lines better than I like how it is when it's just in the box. That's why I, I keep telling you guys, you don't have to have stickers that are um, big size for the bake. You really, really don't. Okay, now I'm gonna layer this one on top of this. So we got a couple of quotes going on over there. Since I have this, I'm gonna want some black on this side of the page, so maybe I use this one. I don't know, this seems like a lot of black, but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. So let's just put it down and see. Okay. I don't know, you guys. This is, I mean, it'll come together, I know that. It's just gonna take a little bit. How about some of these clear quotes too? But I do wanna use the florals and I'm trying to figure out where to put them. I think maybe just put them around the page. <laughs> You are brightness to the world. Let me use this one. Let me 
go to that page of florals and see if I can add some of these in and what they'll look like if I do. I'm not sure I want to add them in now, but what else would I put here? I mean, it brings some softness in, which I definitely probably need, but I don't, I don't always want it to be soft either. Like sometimes I want some, a bold spread. So this is pretty bold so far. I don't know if these really match it, especially with the green. I don't know if I want to bring green in. What if I brought some of these gold ones and I don't typically like gold, but somehow this seems to match my spread better. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna try this. I might regret it, but let me try the gold. <laughs> if I put that under there. going to try to cut this on a curve. I'm not sure that's going to work, but actually it worked pretty well. Not bad. Don't know if that looks weird or not. Bring a little bit of leaves in here. And then maybe some gold over here. Another leaf, maybe. Maybe a smaller one. Put it coming from this thing. Look at this. So this is not what I had planned for the spread. It really changes as I work on it. Like, this is definitely not what I was expecting. I thought I was gonna use a lot of those florals in this one, but I can save them for another spread because they're so pretty. Hmm, let me go back, maybe add a couple of those skinny boxes because I know I'll use them for whatever. These little guys, I think they're pretty. I'm sure they will get used, so. We add a peach one here. Is it like peach or pink? It's kind of both. One right there. And then I'm gonna put a black one probably on this side. How does that look? kind of jumbled up, but I think after I write in it, I think I'm really going to love it. I think this is one of those ones where it's going to look great after the pen. So I'm going to white out this here because I don't ever like this. Don't forget. I really hope that the Happy Planner comes out with a very, very neutral planner for next year because I'll be all over it. Okay, so now we have to find something to put in the sidebar, and I do believe there's some long box stickers here. Where are they? Okay, there's a Hello Gorgeous there. I think that's pretty. Choose to be grateful. Actually, I could use this for my gratitude list because I did not leave space on the other days, so let's do that. I'm gonna put it down here. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, and then maybe something little for there and then we will be done. How about this radiate positivity, this little guy right here? I think that's cute.
Okay. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back. Um, like I said, gradually things will start ramping up again. But right now I am pretty satisfied with this and I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Hey, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys are the best. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.